welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions review of Fenty Beauty. I got this package a week ago and I haven't even swatched the product, taken it out of the packaging. I just took a peek, like, but not at the product, just at the packaging. And I did that specifically so my gen, my blah, 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 my reactions would be genuine. It was one of the most difficult things I had to do, not opening it. So this is my first reaction and it's gonna be honest, I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I haven't watched a lot of reviews, like I want my opinion to be unbiased, but I do love Rihanna, but I'm going to try to not let my love of her get in the way of how I feel about the makeup. So when you first open the box, this is what it looks like, and it's so cute, it's like spray painted, like Fenty, hello. So I got two things because I'm balling on a budget. I got the foundation and the highlight. I'm a little nervous about the shade I got because I did pick it online and I was in a rush because I was scared it was gonna sell out. Um, so I don't know if I picked the right shade, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so the highlight shade is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. It's so cute. The packaging is like a little bit glittery, but like not like overly glittery. Okay, so this is the product. Okay, right, I'm not gonna swatch this one yet. I wanna take the foundation off first. Okay, so I got the shade 230. I tried to match it to my self tanner because I'm usually pretty tan, but I didn't self tan last night, so I'm a little scared. Wow, this bottle's so nice. This is the bottle, it's glass. It's very sleek and like matte and pretty, and you get 1.08 fluid ounces, which with regular foundations, you usually get one fluid ounce, so you get a 0.08 extra. Okay, time to swatch. Oh, this is so pretty. It looks a little glittery. What side is this? That's Hustla Baby. It looks a little glittery, but let's swatch it and find out. Okay, so swatching the highlights, I'm gonna first go into Mean Money. These like blend into my skin tone a lot, but so far I like Hustla Baby better, which was the glitterier one, but we're gonna try both on the skin. As for the foundation, it's fairly runny, but not like too runny. Um, and it looks like it'll be my shade, so let's get into the application. Going in with the product. I'm gonna take like two pumps. Not applying any primer first. Going in with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Just gonna start on my cheek in circular motions. All right, so what I'm first noticing is Pretty medium coverage, which is good because I don't, I like full coverage, but sometimes I like medium. And honestly, two pumps probably isn't gonna be enough. I'm probably gonna need another one. It's matching me really good, actually. I think I got a good shade for online. If you notice that most of my acne scars are covered, not fully, but they're mostly covered. I'm gonna go in with one more pump for my forehead. Sorry if you guys can hear that construction. I like, literally just realized it was going on. All right, so I'm gonna do one more layer of this and see how it builds. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like it's oxidized a little bit. Cause it's like going on a lot lighter. Okay, now that I've applied the second layer, I've noticed a few things. It sets very fast. Um, so you kind of have to work in sections. I love the second layer. I did love the first layer too, but this is actually like Full, full coverage, it covered pretty much everything on my face, including like my acne scars, my pimples, and I think it matches me like really well actually, and I'm very surprised because I seriously ordered this offline. Like, you know, the color swatches are never very genuine online, but I feel like maybe hers actually are. I love the finish, it's a little like demi-matte. I usually always set my foundations anyways, but I was thinking for this video that I'm not going to set it and see how it wears throughout the day. This does say it's a long wear foundation. She doesn't say like how long wear. It does feel pretty light on my skin. Not, not as it's sticky, but as it's setting, it doesn't feel as heavy. And we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. So I'm gonna go do the rest of my face. Um, I always save my highlighter for last, so I'm gonna come back with my full face done and then we'll test out the highlighter. All right guys, I'm back with my face done. All I haven't done is my highlight. I've contoured and done my eyes and my lips. So now it's time for the highlight. Okay, so I kind of feel like Mean Money doesn't 
do a whole lot for my face. I think you have to be a lot more fair skin for this highlight to show up on you and I'm a little too tan for it. So I'm gonna try to dip into Hustle Baby and Sophie wants to make an appearance. Come here. Oh, look at this face. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try Hustle Baby and I'm really excited for this one. Excuse me, my cat's doing some stuff. There we go, that's, oh, that's so pretty. It's like, so pretty, so like natural, like a sheen, not like a glittery highlight, which I was worried about when I looked at this because it looked really glittery, but I'm noticing that it's freaking gorgeous. Wow, that's so intense and that's like, I seriously, I didn't put any liquid on it. Wow, that's so pretty. I think I just found my favorite highlight in the world. <laughs> Excuse me. This is rude. Don't. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Like the swatch does not do it justice, I'm telling you. Right, so now I'm going to highlight my nose. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. It just looks so natural. It doesn't even look like <laughs> her nose is so cold. Every time she rubs against me, I'm like, oh, that's cold. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit above my brow. This stuff is literally so intense without like even trying, which you really think it wouldn't be because of the swatch, but I don't know, maybe it's like the brush helps it be intense. I'm giving this highlight a 10 out of freaking 10 because it's it looks like wet skin without any additional product. Like I didn't put any like cover effects enhancer drops. I didn't put any, I didn't like spray my brush with setting spray or wet it or anything. And this is seriously just the powder. And like that's insane because it's so hard for me to find a highlight that does that. And she just freaking hit the nail on the head with this. Like this is so good. This makes me want to try every other shade. I was not impressed with this side. Like I said, I think this is targeted for like lighter skin tones, but this one showed up perfectly on my skin. It gives me like this perfect golden glow. I'm seriously not over this. I'm not okay. I am literally not okay right now. As for the foundation, it is completely set. It does take a while to like fully set, like it does get dry, but to like fully dry out, I did all of my makeup and then I did my contour because I was scared the contour might look a little muddy if I did it right when the foundation was still setting. So I think that's maybe the only downfall it has, but other than that, like I'm really loving it. Like it looks so good on my skin. I really wanna see how long wearing it is. I didn't set with powder. I only set like my T-zone on my under eye with powder so I wouldn't get like too oily. And I'm really excited to see how this wears throughout the day, especially the highlight. If the highlight stays, because my highlight literally always fades off within like six hours and it's just gone. So I really wanna see how this one wears. So right now, it's a little later in the day, it's 1.56 p.m. and I'm going to go about my day, run some errands, I'm gonna eat, you know, do all the normal things I'm gonna do on my day off, and I will check back with you guys later. Okay, it is now 5.41 and the foundation's still going pretty strong. Um, the highlight's still going really strong. I am getting pretty oily especially around my nose area, but that's pretty common. I'm noticing a little bit of wearing away, like right here and around my nose. But other than that, it's doing pretty good and I will check back at the end of the night. All right guys, so it's 9.30 and I don't love this foundation, but I don't hate it. Sorry if the lighting sucks. My filming setup is down. It, I can feel it and I'm never this oily. So like this foundation, I would not recommend if you have oily skin. Um, if you have dry skin though, this one's perfect for you. But like, I'll give you guys a close up, but my skin, seriously, like if you look up close, it just looks really bad. The other con of this foundation is it is oxidizes at least a shade and a half darker than your normal skin. Cause it like when I put it on, you saw how like pale it was or like, you know, whatever, and it oxidized to like the point where it doesn't even match my chest anymore. But other than that, I love the shade. I love how my highlights still pop in. That's another thing, the highlight's still on and it looks amazing. If I had like set it, I'm sure it'll look great. 
So I'm gonna give you guys a close up of it right now. This is patching off pretty badly. Super, super oily everywhere. And then again, right here, you can see, you can see some of the, it's coming off right here. So what I'm gonna do on camera with you guys, I'm gonna set it with my NYX No Filter finishing powder and see how it looks after that. Already I look a thousand times better because I am not an oily mess. So overall I'm gonna give the foundation a 6 out of 10 and for the highlight I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10 because I am still shook by the highlight. Like honestly, look at this. Highlights never last this long for me. It looks so good. Alright guys, that concludes my Fenty first impressions review. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more first impressions videos from me, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.